The James Webb Telescope has revealed space in new ways, announcing 632 unknown objects from a distant solar system. Their true nature and stories remain a mystery. Let's explore and uncover the secrets of these objects as we journey through space. Discovering odd objects in space isn't new. Throughout history, we've seen new things appear nearby. But what happens to these things isn't always as we hope. Consider the Kepler mission, which aimed to find faraway exoplanets. While exciting at first, some of the planets turned out to be not real, showing we need lots of evidence before we're sure. Finding weird things in space isn't new. Sometimes new things pop up, like strange objects, and this has happened throughout history when people study the stars. But these discoveries don't always turn out the way we hope. One famous example comes from the Kepler mission, which aimed to learn about planets outside our solar system. Kepler used special tools to notice even tiny changes in starlight. It found many possible planets, which got us excited about understanding the universe better. But later, when scientists looked closer, they realized that more than half of the huge planets they found weren't real they were like fake pictures in the sky. Another mission, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also looked for new planets. Sometimes they saw things that seemed amazing at first, but then they became less clear, like trying to see something in the shadows. Scientists are trying really hard to tell what's real and what's not in space, so we can be sure about what we find out there. However, this journey doesn't culminate there. It has led us to the creation of an extraordinary instrument, one that doesn't merely identify celestial objects but accomplishes this task with unparalleled accuracy. Behold the cosmic marvel, the James Webb Space Telescope. This remarkable telescope stands in a class of its own endowed with an exceptional capacity to delve deep into the earliest epochs of the universe of feet that its predecessors could only imagine. Its substantial dimensions and cutting-edge instrumentation bestow upon it the capability to peer billions of years into the past, capturing the distant light emanating from the farthest reaches of space. Through this cosmic lens, it affords us a singular glimpse into the infancy of the universe, unveiling the intricate narratives of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. What distinguishes the James Webb Telescope from its precursors, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, is its expansive perspective. Picture a spectrum of light tucked into a cosmic array of clues a rainbow of information. The James Webb Space Telescope, however, doesn't merely observe a segment of this spectrum. It takes in a substantially larger portion, particularly within the infrared spectrum. This advantage empowers it to scrutinize celestial phenomena that would otherwise remain consi on simultaneous lie a capability that the Hubble couldn't match. Imagine a telescope endowed with the ability to penetrate cosmic veils. The James Webb Space Telescope embodies this concept and more. Its secret weapon lies in its extended range, enabling it to pierce through the shrouds of dust that often obscure celestial vistas. Envision enhanced clarity and brightness, akin to possessing cosmic X-ray vision. By capturing an impressive six-fold increase in light compared to its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST unveils not only stars, but entire constellations nestled within intricate cosmic enclaves, such as the captivating Carina Nebula. Now let's talk about where this amazing marvel is located. It's in a special spot called L2 which is about a million miles away from Earth. This spot is like a perfect balance point between Earth's gravity and the Sun's gravity. What's so cool about this? Well, it means we don't have to deal with the wobbling caused by Earth's atmosphere. This spot helps us avoid the distortions and problems caused by our atmosphere when we're trying to look at space. Think of it like a super space window cleaner that's high above our atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST doesn't have to deal with the messiness of Earth's air, like turbulence, pollution, and light getting absorbed. This clean spot gives astronomers a crystal clear view of the universe, like looking at a fresh canvas without any smidges. But being in this spot is important for more than just avoiding problems. It's like tuning into different radio stations, but instead of sound, we're tuning into different kinds of light. The JWST is like a master tuner, 
especially for infrared light. It's like listening to cosmic music that we couldn't hear before. Earth's atmosphere is like a puzzle it lets some types of light through but blocks others, especially infrared light. It's like a hidden barrier. But the JWST found a way to get around this barrier and unlock the secrets of the universe. Out there in its special spot, the JWST can see infrared light without any problems from Earth's atmosphere. It's like a space guard with super clear vision. Unlike telescopes on Earth, it can watch a wide range of infrared light without anything getting in the way. This amazing ability lets us discover things that were hidden from us before like unveiling secrets we never knew about. But the cool journey of the JWST doesn't stop there. Older telescopes had trouble with cold weather, but not this one. It actually loves the super cold space. It's like wearing a warm space coat to stay cozy, even though it's really cold. It's actually a good thing for the JWST. And you know what's neat. It's because of a smart sun shield. This shield wraps around the telescope and keeps it safe from the super hot sun, so it can stay cold and work well. In this chilly place, the JWST becomes a space detective. It's really good at finding weak signals that other telescopes might miss. This means it can find and study things like faraway galaxies, new planets forming, and even really old sounds from when the universe started. The JWST is like a superhero in the cold space. It can do things other telescopes can't because it turns the challenges of space into its special powers. It's like finding a hidden treasure in our space backyard. Speaking of space, there is a busy area beyond Neptune called the Kuiper Belt. It's not just ordinary rocks. It's like a place where comets, asteroids, and pieces from long ago hang out. Imagine it like a space market with different things to see. And one of the cool things there is Kuiper Belt objects they have their own stories and are really interesting. Comedy, resembling cosmic snowballs, create mesmerizing tales as they approach the sun, while asteroids, resilient space voyagers, act as cosmic time capsules, offering a glimpse into the universe's origins. Size plays a significant role here as well. Comparing it to the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, which houses most of our system's rocky remnants. The Kuiper Belt stands as the heavyweight champion, akin to a bustling city compared to a serene village. These asteroids span a variety of dimensions, from pebbles to colossal giants spanning hundreds of kilometers, forming a cosmic puzzle eagerly assembled by astronomers. Yet, this cosmic dance goes beyond appearances. Within the Kuiper Belt, these objects are in constant motion, harmonizing with the cadence of gravity. Occasionally, they collide, setting off celestial fireworks across the heavens. This resembles a cosmic ballet, complete with spins and unforeseen twists. The Kuiper Belt unveils itself as an intricate cosmic mystery, beckoning exploration. Each object represents a chapter in our solar system's chronicle, enabling scientists to decode its secrets, our place in the cosmos, and the imperceptible forces molding our celestial vicinity. Think of the asteroid belt like a big stage in space with two pots. In the first part, there are asteroids close to Mars, but not as far as Jupiter. Just before the second part, there is a special gap called the Kirkwood Gap, about 2.5 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Then comes the second part, with asteroids closer to Jupiter. This happens because of the way these space rocks dance with the planets. Even though it looks busy, there's actually a lot of space between the asteroids, like wandering in a big desert. This helps spaceships move around. They go on missions to explore the far edges of our solar system or to study specific asteroids up close. These spaceships are like cosmic detectives, telling us about the asteroids, what they're made of, how they're built, and even what their stories are. Now, here's something interesting. Even though there are many asteroids, they don't weigh much when you add it all up. It's like a tiny thread compared to the moon's weight. This helps us remember how vast and diverse our solar system is. Now, let's cast our gaze beyond the confines of the asteroid belt. Waiting in the cosmic wings are the Kuiper Belt objects, distant kinfolk that inhabit the outskirts of our solar system, sometimes even smaller than asteroids. Collectively, their mass comprises less than 1% of everything else present in the cosmos. 
Imagine the Kuiper Belt as a frozen carnival situated beyond the periphery of Neptune's domain, an enticing treasure trove of cosmic delights. While these treasures, known as Kuiper Belt Objects KBOs, might not match the weightiness of our entire planet, they come in a wide array of forms and sizes, akin to a cosmic masquerade. What distinguishes KBOs is their icy constitution. These objects resemble cosmic popsicles crafted from frozen elements like methane, ammonia, and water. Nestled within the frigid depths of the Kuiper Belt since the dawn of our solar system, these icy gems have maintained their composure for billions of years, setting them apart from the stony inhabitants closer to the sun. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Kuiper Belt is its exclusive guest list of dwarf planets consider these cosmic mini-celebrities. Among this assembly, names like Pluto, Haumea, and Quawar stand out as notable figures. Similar to younger siblings of the massive planets, they share attributes such as a spherical form, substantial size, and a gravitational influence over their cosmic environs. These diminutive worlds act as time capsules, whispering tales of our solar system's formative years, its evolution, and maturation. Now, let's tally the participants' approximately 35,000 KBOs with diameters surpassing 62 miles. An impressive turnout indeed. Yet, brace yourself for this cosmic revelation. There could be an astounding 100 million smaller and fainter KBOs, measuring 12 miles or less in diameter. As we contemplate these 632 enigmatic entities, Always keep in mind that the Kuiper Belt resembles a concealed attic brimming with enigmas awaiting discovery. In the Kuiper Belt, there's a group of small players that might not catch your eye right away, but they are actually really important in the big show. Think of them as background artists who bring life to the stage. Even though they are a bit harder to spot, they make up a big part of the Kuiper Belt. Scientists have to work hard to understand them, to make sense of this diverse group. Scientists split them into two main teams. The first group, called Classical Kuiper Belt Objects, are like steady hikers on a clear path. They follow orbits that are much affected by Neptune's gravity. The second group, called Resonant Kuiper Belt Objects, are like dance partners for Neptune. Their orbits match up with Neptune's movements, like a dancing duo performing a fancy routine. This special dance helps us learn about the Kuiper Belt's gravity. Imagine the Kuiper Belt as a busy market where things are spread out in three dimensions. Most of the action happens within a 10-degree area above and below the flat floor where planets move around the sun. But this market isn't just on that floor, it extends into a bigger space. Now, picture planets moving smoothly in circles around the sun. But the Kuiper Belt is like a bunch of cosmic rebels, each with their own unique moves. Unlike planets following a simple path, Kuiper Belt objects shake things up with their tilted orbits. This means they're not just dancing on the same plane as planets. They're dancing to their own rhythm, at a different angle. This makes them stand out and adds excitement to the solar system's cosmic party. Within the Kuiper Belt, most KBO activity occurs within 10 degrees above and below the ecliptic plane, a celestial dance floor where planets sway. This gathering forms a close-knit ensemble akin to stars huddled in the cosmos. Their inclined orbits resemble a cosmic choir rehearsing a unique routine. Beyond this, an after-party takes place a more dispersed crowd akin to a cosmic carnival, with KBOs scattered in all directions. This mystery prompts questions about the driving force behind their distinct trajectories. Envision a cosmic playground with celestial adventurers on zigzagging paths. While some adhere to smooth orbits like planets, others embrace their free spirit, journeying along wobbly and tilted paths. This diverse cosmic cast contributes to the Kuiper Belt's dense population, akin to a vibrant cosmic community photo, revealing its true scale as sprawling celestial playground resembling a bustling city, each building representing a KBO. These objects vary in size, shape, and style creating a vivid celestial mosaic that enriches our solar system. In this 3D cosmic realm, every corner is occupied by a KBO, each with a unique story. Visualize them as pieces of a grand cosmic puzzle, 
with astronomers as the puzzle solvers reconstructing their journeys and ancient tales. Imagine being a cosmic detective, exploring the Kuiper Belt's trove of icy wonders. However, these treasures are elusive, requiring clever techniques, as astronomers can't simply zoom in for snapshots. They employ ingenious methods to catch them in action. What's the makeup of Kuiper Belt objects KBOs? Picture them as cosmic ice cream cones, freezing flavors in space's chill. They are remnants from the solar system's icy origins, primarily composed of water, ammonia, and methane. Scientists analyze their emitted light spectroscopy to confirm this. This frigid playground is like a cosmic freezer where these materials endure. Here, you'll encounter comets, cosmic snowballs dazzling as they approach the sun. These cold classical KBOs love icy environments. As you approach the sun within the Kuiper belt, the icy mixture shifts, much like moving from a deep freezer to a fridge. The sun's warmth alters the flavors, creating a mix of icy and rocky elements, forming a captivating cosmic assortment. Imagine KBOs as cosmic shapeshifters, changing appearance near the sun. This interaction with solar radiation alters their costumes. Some KBOs, however, can't handle the sun's heat. For them, the warmth prompts their icy coats made of water, ammonia, and methane to evaporate, leaving behind rockier, less volatile substances. This transformation turns them into cosmic chameleons. Hold on, there's more. Not all objects respond the same way. Some remain resilient, their icy layers and moved by the sin's quest for flavors. Others, however, transform dramatically, resembling marshmallows and hot cocoa. Imagine deciphering a puzzle with unique shapes and textures for each piece. That's what scientists tackle when studying ever-changing Kuiper Belt objects a cosmic kaleidoscope. To unveil these mysteries, tools like the James Webb Telescope step in, a cosmic detective peering through space's veils to decode these icy travelers. It's an enthralling journey, gradually revealing pieces and unveiling the dazzling complexity of distant realms within our solar system.